Hey everybody, welcome aboard. Captain Mike here. Uh, we took a look at the aft overhead a little while ago, and now we're going to take a look at the forward overhead. And I'm going to run it just basically how you would run a flow for the most part, from the upper left down to the lower right. And I'm going to go through all the switches, buttons, dials, and whatnot, and you'll see just how far we've gotten. And again, none of the uh, enunciator lights have been set up just yet, but all the buttons and switches are done. So let's get started. So we have flight controls A, as you can see, work, B, alright, we have alternate flaps, we have up, off, and then down is a momentary switch, spoilers, your damper, VHF, IRS, FMC, source selector, control panel, cross feed, and again, the enunciators will be done soon enough. Fuel pumps, battery switch, and then we have the selector, standby, bat bus, bat auxiliary, TR1, 2, 3, and we can come all the way around and go to test. Right side, standby, ground power, Gen 1, APU, Gen 2, IRV, and test. We have the galley. I only have the one switch here, so it's only going to run the one. Sent. Oh, let me open that up so you can see it. Standby power. Let's come back to auto, off, full right. So that's good. Disconnect. Disconnect. Ground power up and down. Transfer bus. These wiper switches aren't hooked up. And and then we have the power test and overheat. And we have our probes. And I have the test button hooked up. Wing any ice. Engine one and two. These buttons aren't hooked up. One cut out. You should be able to see that push button going in and out there. I don't have trim air connected here. Okay, and obviously the cab stuff isn't uh, hooked up as well. We come to the recirc fans here. You should see that overheat button go in. Packs, left, auto, high, and then we have open and closed, and we'll go to trip, these two are on a different script, I'll get that set up and I'll show you those as well, but these are done. And then we have alternate, manual, alternate, and oh, let you go to auto. I'm going to have to take a look at that. All right, so I have to take a look at that. That one indicator is backwards. All of my landing lights are on the one switch, so that's how I have that set up. 
Runway turn off. Taxi. APU. Ground. Off. Continuous. Flight. Back to off. Center. Left. Ground. Off. Continuous. Flight. And all the way up. All right, that's steady, off and up. And that's basically it for the forward overhead. So I have one item I have to take a look at right here. And uh, real quick, we'll come and we'll take a look at those two dials next. And that takes care of the forward overhead, except for the enunciators, like I said. All right, everybody, we'll be right back. And the last couple of items we're going to take a look at is the flight altitude and the landing altitude. And if I move these again, I don't have any digits in here just yet, but they do work on screen. We go down, we can go up, we can go up, we can go down. Anyway, so Device Interface Manager is making a tremendous amount of progress in a short amount of time. Ni uh, Niles is doing an amazing job. So um, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Um, up next, I'm going to take a look at the MIP, see if I can get all those buttons and dials and everything in next. Um, and maybe finish off the glass shield. MCP and the EFIS panels are already done. So, and then that would leave the pedestal. And then it's enunciators. All right, everybody. Take care. I'll catch you on my next run. Everything's starting to look real nice. And this is Flight Deck Solutions Hardware with PMDG 738 inside MS 2020. Hi right, everybody, take care.